What's up everyone? Hope you guys are doing great. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a video together and we're going to talk about our eight favorite tennis resources that will skyrocket your tennis game. Yes, uh, so Kate's been crushing it lately here, doing some great YouTube videos that we will uh, show and link up top here. But uh, we thought it'd be fun to share some of the resources that we have found over the past 10 years. So Cade, uh, for those of you that uh, don't know our background a little bit, uh, we live in an area that does not have indoor tennis. Uh, it's snowing outside today. So uh, I was a hockey guy, had no real previous tennis background. Cade didn't have access to coaching. So we kind of had to find a way to learn this game to help Cade get better as a player and hopefully improve my coaching to help him get better. So over the 10 years, we dug deep to find these resources and we're gonna share them with you. We will timestamp them so you can easily access the resources through the video as well and we will link out to the uh, resources as well too in the description. So to get started, mm -hmm. um, the first one we're gonna share, these are in no order or anything like that, but the first one we're gonna share, Kate, go ahead. Yeah, the first one that I have for you guys is Tennis Spin. So Tennis Spin is a YouTube channel. They're based out of California, or actually, yeah, California and San Francisco. And Harry, who's kind of the main guy, is a stringer. And he's been stringing for the past like 32 years, if I'm right. He's strung professionally at um, ATP and WGA tournaments. And he and Coach Goo and ITF Chris review uh, products. So string, um, rackets, shoes, grips, all of the good stuff. And it's, it's a really good, they do a really good job of reviewing stuff and I feel like it's really honest. Um, I've learned a lot over that with that. Sorry. I've learned a lot from them in the past couple months, uh, since I've been watching a lot of their videos, I've learned a lot about the stringing, uh, side of tennis. Uh, since I did know a lot about, uh, the racket stuff, but I've learned a lot about the string specific stuff from, from Harry. And, um, I mean, if you guys want to learn more about anything, they, they got some really good tips over at Tennis Spin and uh, you guys should definitely check them out. So a YouTube channel, right? Yeah. And, and they share all kinds of stuff like Cade was saying and, and gear is very important in tennis mm -hmm. as we've learned over the years. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to get a better understanding of how your racket can work for you, how the string can work for you and what shoes out there are good for you, Tennis Spin is yeah, a great YouTube super channel. Real. One thing I forgot to mention too yeah. is they upload every single day Depending where you, you live, for us, uh, Atlantic Standard Time, we get an upload uh, midnight every night from Tennis Spin. So I always look out for that in the morning. <laughs> yeah. But uh, check them out, Tennis Spin YouTube channel. Awesome. On to the next one. So as mentioned, we started this tennis journey about 10 years ago. And as uh, I had no clue on how to really help Cade or coach Cade in tennis. So I started looking on YouTube. And one of the first channels I found is called Essential Tennis. And Ian is the, uh, the guy that runs that channel there. And he has probably about 250,000 subscribers now to the YouTube channel. And actually, it was one of the drills that he shared to help teach the fluidity of the serve motion. And he shared where you'd get two socks, tie them together, put one tennis ball in one sock, one tennis ball in the other sock, and just swing that around to kind of get used yeah, to yeah. the motion and everything. And I was like, well, I'm gonna check this guy out a little bit more. So he has all kinds of great drills and courses on there that you can purchase. And he's got a great, it's a great channel for people that are either just beginning to get into tennis or wanna teach themselves or father, son or mother, daughter or father, yeah. daughter duo that wanna try and figure out some tennis stuff on the court. He's a pioneer when it comes to YouTube channel, um, tennis channels, he, I think it's about seven years old now. And um, the other thing he does is he shows a lot of match play between amateurs like that are like the 4.0 range and up uh, they might play some d3 college yeah. players he plays sometimes i know he's out with an injury right now but it, it's it's actually really neat to see footage of players playing that maybe aren't pros or aren't high level college players right so it's definitely nice to see that and the other thing that he's been doing lately is he's been sharing a lot of videos and tips on how to help tennis content creators do a better job of filming their match play or filming their practices, types of cameras, types of mics, what gear you should get to make sure that you're doing it the best possible way you can. So Essential Ten Tennis is a great channel that you definitely should check out on YouTube. Yeah, Essential Tennis. So the next one, um, this one is not a channel. Uh, this is a book and we talked about Brad Gilbert yeah. before. With oh the, yeah, because Tennis Spin is actually uh, ran out of Brad Gilbert's pro shop. So. In California. Yeah. So 
The book is Winning Ugly, The Mental Warfare in Tennis. So we didn't buy the book, but what we did do is we grabbed the book on Audible. And when we did travel to do tennis during the winter months to the closest indoor facility, we would listen to Brad Gilbert, uh, the Winning Ugly book on the rides in the car. And I'm telling you, it was a big eye opener for us because a lot of tennis players I feel are very conscientious are always thinking about the perfect technique mm -hmm. or you know how good is my forehand or my serve doesn't look right and in this book Brad kind of throws that all out the window and basically teaches you how to think uh, to win matches in a way that may not look the prettiest therefore calling it winning ugly and it's loaded with tons of great tips and one that I can really that really struck home with me was you know in a match when you're you're a player and you you win the first set so you're like, ooh, that feels good. I, you know, and what Brad called that was the person that won was a, a happy camper. So you kind of let your guard down, you're happy, you're feeling good, but the person on the other side of the net is the wounded bear and they're coming out ready to fight that next set. And when your guard's down and they come out, maybe they break the first game and then hold serve and then all of a sudden they're up two nothing, the match is completely different. So you gotta try to not be the, the happy camper or if you did lose, you wanna be the wounded bear. Mm -hmm. So there's tons and tons of great tips out there uh, mm -hmm. or not out yeah. there, but in his book, yeah. I mean, I know that tip resonates with us really well because I, I just feel like it's super true and it happens in tennis all the time. The match can flip on like, all of a sudden sometimes. So if you like that tip, definitely check out the book because there's tons of tips like that and uh, tons of fun little stories too that we learned along the way through the book. Yeah, and I think also it helped us realize that technique is not, doesn't need to be the number one thing. It's important. Yeah. And one of the tip or one of the quotes from the book actually, uh, after a, a match, Brad Gilbert uh, won the match and the guy came up to him afterwards or a, a, a person watching the match said, man, that was one ugly win. And Brad said to him, you know what? Thanks a lot. I've been working on learning how to win ugly. So uh, definitely check it out. It kind of helps with a lot of tactics and strategy that go into a match. Yeah. All right. So on to the next one. Next one, similar to tennis spin, but kind of a different approach. Um, I love this guy. He's sorry. His name is tennis nerd. He's uh, based out of Europe and he reviews only rackets and strings. So unlike tennis spin that kind of takes the whole uh, circle approach to reviewing, uh, tennis nerd is only the rackets and strings. He's super, super analytical and really dives into the specs of each racket and why it's like that and why it will be good for certain players or not good for certain players. One thing that I really like about him too is he reviews pro stock rackets. So that's one thing that a lot of reviewers don't do. Um, pro stock rackets are, are rackets that the pros use. So if you go into you know, your local sports store or tennis store or wherever you guys are watching, the rackets on the wall aren't you know, the ones that you're going to see in Novak, Rogers, Rafa's hands. Um, so he reviews their personal rackets and kind of compares them and says if it's good for the average user, etc. Um, I really enjoy uh, his channel because um, he also has a racket consultation. And that's one thing that I, gave, or I sent in to him and he recommended some rackets for me. So those uh, recommendations I'm definitely gonna check out if we could ever get on a tennis court. <laughs> yeah. And I'll be sharing that, we'll be sharing that with you guys too. So we're excited to do that too. But definitely tennis nerd. Uh, send a racket consultation along to him. He'll definitely help you out. Really good guy, and um, I really like it. Yeah, and I think it's like $25. It's yeah, definitely or, worth the yeah. investment. He takes a look at your, your game. You can send him some video footage, tell him where maybe you struggle a little bit, where, mm -hmm. where what you like with your current racket setup, and then he puts together uh, four or five recommendations yeah. for you to, to demo and try yeah, out. So it's super, super yeah. um, into the details too, like you'll say this racket, but if you do it, I highly recommend it to go with this string and at this tension. So, you know, I really trust, trust his work and you know, you guys will learn a lot if you check out his YouTube channel. Awesome stuff. All right. So the next one. So as we were talking earlier, um, when we found essential tennis, which was a great resource for us, uh, as the person that was trying to coach mm -hmm. Kate a little bit and help him out, we, I still found that I needed more drills to kind of help him get to that next level. And we stumbled across, or I stumbled across, uh, a YouTube channel called Top Tennis Training. And this is with Alex and Simon. And Alex, uh, when he was playing, he was the fourth ranked pro in Great Britain at the time. 
uh, just behind uh, Andy Murray and uh, Dan Evans, I think, were you know the guys ahead of him. So really solid player. Simon was also a, a, a really solid player. You actually should watch Simon hit the ball. He can hit it just as well with his left hand as his right hand. Yeah. It's really cool. It's to very see. impressive. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think they've been around for about five years, but one thing that they do a great job of is they share a lot of drills and training that they've done with pros. They have some great courses that they have with David Ferrer, David Nabanian, uh, Tommy Robredo. Uh, I think there's a couple other ones there. They have um, also one called the Drills Blueprint that we had purchased because as I said, we wanted to have some more drills and their drills are really, really uh, easy to understand, yeah. simple to follow. Uh, so it definitely was a great resource for us as we went mm -hmm. into training more. Um, so yeah, Top Tennis Training, check out their YouTube channel and their website if you want to access some of the courses. Yeah. Lots of great content there. Yeah, one thing to add though, you said really easy to understand it. Um, as a player, when you don't want to listen to your coach if he's your dad, <laughs> yeah. you know. All uh, the time. All the time. Yeah. Not that I don't listen to him, yeah. but um, I would go back and watch some of the videos sometimes if I was not understanding correctly or whatever the situation was. And um, they are really easy to understand. And if you wanted like a little technical point, they have like little short videos on how you can fix X, whatever the problem is you're having. Um, but super easy to understand. And if you want to get some drills, there's so many, so many drills and so many blueprints and uh, definitely check them out. Yeah, so great resource. So the next one, we're gonna move away from YouTube a little bit and we are gonna to go to Instagram. And uh, one of my favorite or our favorite resources on Instagram is it's called Functional Tennis. So definitely look them up on Instagram. Uh, Fabio runs the uh, Functional Tennis account as well as the website. And he does an amazing job of finding video footage that he shares on Instagram of pros training, top level, juniors training, um, all kinds of awesome footage from Europe, yeah. right? So really does a good job of sharing that stuff on, on the Instagram account. And it's just really awesome to see these pros training, you know, in short little video clips mm -hmm. and seeing like how they train, doing. the drills they're doing. So Fabio does a great job of doing that. And he's also expanded beyond his Instagram account and has an amazing podcast. He's recently released a webinar series where he has special guests on there. Re recently had a D1 college coach on there, uh, Pete Smith, who was a uh, you know, Division I coach trying to explain to parents and players what they should expect if they're trying to get to D1, things they should be doing, all that good stuff. Uh, the podcast, he has great guests on there as well. He had Holger Rune, who's like the top junior yeah. in the world. He had him as his first guest. Just great to hear from these people, their stories, their journeys, how they yeah. got to where they're at. And Fabio does a great job of sharing that. And the other thing is he has an online store with some products that are very helpful for tennis players. Mm -hmm. um, one is the tennis pointer. I don't know if anybody's seen that, but it's like a wooden mm -hmm. paddle with a little circle. Really supposed to help players. We've never tried it before, no. but it's- We supposed like to. Yeah. <laughs> but it's uh, supposed to help with the contact point. A lot of players, he shows players warming up with it, getting ready with it. So it looks super, super awesome. And that's something that he sells on the website. He also sells, um, uh, match journal, journal. journal and practice journal. Yeah. We don't have the practice yeah. ones, but uh, we have the match one. Yeah, and Cade used this for uh, it, it's all filled in now, so we have to get another one. But it's a great tool to help you get ready before your matches. Uh, go back and recap, put your strategy together, the tactics you're going to work on, plan A, plan B, all kinds of great stuff there. So definitely yeah. check that out. Yeah, I love this guy. Um, it's really good to refer to if I play somebody again because I have notes in here from like, let's say I played somebody from years and years ago. I actually have notes of that player in here, but I can always refer to that too. And uh, if you didn't get the journal, I think they even have like PDFs that you can even print out of just like a court and then little note box or whatever. Yeah, so, so definitely yeah. check out Functional Tennis for sure. Mm -hmm. All right, on to the next one. Next one, I actually just found this guy maybe like a month and a half ago. Uh, kind of a hidden gem to be honest, in my opinion, because I have foot problems. Yeah. So <laughs> I mentioned that in a previous video when we did the mobility stuff, but I have had a lot of foot problems in my junior career and I, you know, knock on wood, hopefully I'm okay for now. But um, <laughs> this guy reviews tennis shoes only. And he's a foot doctor and a former tennis instructor. And I think he may have played college tennis as well. So 
he solely focuses on the tennis shoes and what's in them and how it can work for certain players, certain movers, etc. Um, he actually physically like rips apart the shoes. So he'll take like a knife and show you the insides of the shoes to, you know, show you the different cushioning factors. And if you're somebody like me that's, you know, maybe needs more cushioning, he shows what shoes are good for you. Or if you're somebody that wants more of a minimalistic uh, tennis shoe, he suggests um, ones for you too. Yeah. Um, he does little quirky tests that I like too. He does like an infrared test for like, uh, breathability, he does suicide tests, serve tests, um, and yeah, I have learned a lot. Um, shoes is actually something that I didn't really know a ton about on the tennis side, so it's nice to see, like, it's nice to see somebody like the Tennis Pro Doc um, kind of show that to, to the viewers, because it's kind of something that's, I don't know, we don't talk about it. Yeah, often. and it's very important, as we've learned, to have yeah. great shoes, right, that, are that work for you. Yeah. Yes, everybody's feet are different so mm -hmm. he does a good job of explaining what shoes would work based on the kind of shoe you might need yeah. to wear on the court and just to clarify that's the tennis pro doc yeah youtube and yeah. the other thing i think you mentioned too Cade. i haven't watched a lot of his videos yet but you mentioned that he if you ask any question in the oh, comments yeah. on youtube he'll I, get right yeah. back to you i i remember i watched uh one of maybe like a month ago i left a comment when i first found the youtube channel i was like i left a length a uh, very long message and I uh, wasn't even sure he was going to get back to me, but he got right back to me like in 15 minutes. So yeah. um, that's super nice as a viewer because you know that he's, he's doing his best and, you know, thank you for that. Well, that's it's awesome. not some just some guy with no real credentials. He's yeah. a doctor, a yeah, doctor. Exactly. And he's providing helpful information for tennis players. Yeah. So good stuff, good mm -hmm. channel. Um, awesome. So our eighth uh, resource that we uh, absolutely love right now, and it's another YouTube channel. Uh, this channel is called My Tennis HQ, and the two guys behind this, uh, I think it was three guys when it started, Austin, Guy, and Carew, but I think it's yeah. just Carew and Guy yeah. mostly now so working mostly on the channel. Mostly even Carew right now. Yeah, yeah, Carew does a lot of the video footage on there, so Carew was a, a top player in UCLA Division One college and then went on to play on the ATP Tour as well, Played won some Futures events, I think he was ranked as high as 350, mm -hmm. um, but... The content that they share, he shares a lot of footage with him training with pros, actually. So he's the hitting partner for Naomi Osaka. He uh, showed a, a practice session that he had with Marcos Duran. Um, so it's really cool to see the kind of drills that they do at that level. And it's not rocket science. Like, yeah. they're not doing things that you and I or we can't do, right? So Carew does a great job of illustrating how players at any level can practice like the pros do. And he puts together nice little uh, kind of sequences of drills that you can try out. Um, you know, they were just simple, simple drills. He showed one full practice with Na Naomi mm -hmm. there. That was awesome to watch. And the other thing that we really like about this channel is Carew is probably the closest thing that we can see yeah. to a real pro player. from and like on court level, yeah. like real footage. So yeah. And it's great to see how he moves, how he trains. And where we live in New Brunswick, we don't have players like that. So <laughs> it's been a great resource yeah. for us to see him, you know, see his channel and everything like that. So my tennis HQ, top notch channel. Yeah, I'd like to add one more thing. Yeah. Um, everybody thinks Raj, Roger Federer is the greatest mover. I don't know, Karu <laughs> might be up there for the great, I'm just joking, but he's a really good mover. Um, I actually do think, as far as watching um, a tennis player, he's like the second greatest mover I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, he looks like a great <laughs> mover on court. We've never seen him in person, but that's another thing. Watching these guys just on YouTube, it's great for players and coaches to see how they move and you kind of, you learn just from that, right? So mm -hmm. it's great to see this. So those are our eight top tennis resources uh, that will skyrocket your game, but we do have a couple of honorable mentions that we want to throw into the mix. Yeah. Um, I will throw in the first one, yeah, okay? Right. Uh, the, the first one that I'm going to recommend, and this isn't really uh, anything for learning or anything like that. It's more for tennis and comedy relief, but it's a podcast, and it's called The Tennis Anyone Podcast with Michael Costa. So Michael is the comedian, first of all, and he also used to play college tennis and he played pro tennis for a while. I think he was ranked as high as 850 or 800 in the world. And his podcast, he basically captures or recaps the week that just happened. It's every Monday. It's about 30 minutes long. 
but he adds a comedic flair to the whole podcast along with talking tennis. There is some rated R version language in there. So if you're younger, <laughs> maybe you know, it's not the podcast yeah, it, for you, but, but if you're older or an adult or a tennis parent and you want to have a good laugh, but have some tennis kind of thrown into that laugh, great, great podcast to check out. And, Man, yeah. yeah go ahead. I was just uh, going to say, if you don't have time to listen to the full podcast, you can just listen to the intro because 30 second intro is really good by far the so best good. intro i've ever heard so yes yeah. definitely check it out on spotify or whatever podcast platform you use so honorable that's one of our honorable mentions yeah my next honorable mention is behind the racket uh behind the racket is an instagram and they just did a website too yeah um that's done by noah rubin who's an atp player um with behind the racket they take uh, personal stories from ATP, WTA, actually everybody. Yeah. Tennis player or non-tennis player, but celebrity, celebrity, player, celebrity yeah. players. Um, and they just kind of share their story and they have a picture with the racket and then men behind the racket. And then they have about, I don't know, three or four paragraph story on on, on their story. Yeah, on um, their journey basically. Yeah. Yeah, it's, and it's really interesting to hear. I mean, some people have had some really tough times. So Yeah, it makes you feel like, wow, you're not the only one going through a tough time here in your tennis yeah. journey everybody's had it's a great story and it's just nice to see that it's very inspiring i think yeah. for tennis players and parents or coaches to kind of read through those stories and see what certain people had to go through to get to where they are today so behind the racket is not another great resource instagram channel instagram or, yeah, and they instagram. have a website oh the other thing is they're coming out with a btr tour so noah rubin has just released that they're coming out with a tour for uh pros that maybe aren't the highest Quite level there, pros yeah. Uh, so BTR tour is coming out. UTR has a, a tour for pros coming out. So it's great to see all these options mm -hmm. for players that maybe can't get into the futures or, uh, you know, the challenger or ATP. Mm -hmm. There are going to be some other options where you can play pro and maybe generate a little yeah. revenue, right? So good stuff. Um, and the final, uh, honorable mention is it's a YouTube channel and it's called cult tennis and you might have maybe. Eight, Five, eight, eight to 12 yeah. videos right now. And what this guy does, and I think his name's Andrew, is he does like almost like a documentary or a docu-series on certain tennis topics. So for example, he talked about the story of the Menendez, Menendez twins in California and how they were tennis prodigies growing up and they ended up you know, murdering their parents. Uh, there was one he did about the Rafa versus Roger. Rafa was on clay and Roger was on grass and how they played their match. And he did that one all together. He did another one on Novak Djokovic's 2011 year and why he rose to be so dominant mm -hmm. and all kinds of great little uh, videos on there. They're about 20 minutes long and he kind of does them like a documentary, lots of great video editing. Um, another one he did on, does, has on there is one about like how much the tennis players really make. So he gets into, you know, diving deep into like players that are ranked 500 and above and what they're yeah. making and how much of a struggle it is for them. So it's an awesome, awesome channel if you're into like looking at some, some documentary type tennis videos. Yeah, and I mean, they're not long either. Yeah. They might only be like 10, 15 max. 20, 10, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, um, it's really interesting to learn about some of these players. Like I think his most recent one was uh, Bernie Tomic. Yeah. And um, just kind of interesting to kind of see what's going on there. And it's like a little mini documentary yeah. of uh, the situation. And he researches, you can tell he does a lot of research. Yeah. Um, you know, so he goes deep and puts it all together in a nice little story format for us to watch. So check out Cult Tennis. And that's basically it for our honorable mentions. Uh, tell us in the comments below if you've seen any of these or if you have any other ones you'd like to recommend or what you think about our, uh, our resources and also subscribe we you know we'd love to have you subscribe to the channel we're going to keep out keep pumping out some more content uh check us out on instagram facebook uh, our website and we'd love to hear from you guys and uh yeah yeah, yeah. thank you for watching um if you enjoyed the video give it a like if yeah. you didn't dislike it um but hopefully you didn't dislike it but anyway take care and we'll see you in the next one